In this lesson, we'll talk about embedding and linking Excel tables and charts. So before we get started here, let's take a look at an Excel chart that we might like to insert into this PowerPoint slide. So here in our Excel window, we've got a file called Expense Trends Budget. And this is just an example of a table and a chart that's connected to the table and some other information that we might want to display on our PowerPoint slide. So it's important to note that any information that you're going to embed into a PowerPoint slide from another program, especially Excel, since there are many different worksheets that you can work with, you want to make sure that when you save and close your Excel file, that the worksheet that you want to embed into your PowerPoint slide is the one that's activated when you save and close the file. So we're going to go ahead and save and close the file and make sure that our expense trends is the activated worksheet. And it is the only worksheet in the file, so it's obviously going to be the only one that's activated. I'm going to go ahead and close Excel and get back to my PowerPoint window. And now I'm going to click the Insert tab and choose Object. And in the last lesson, we learned how to create a new object from another program into PowerPoint. This time, we're going to choose the Create from File option. And this is going to allow us to bring in an object from another file. Let's click Browse to go find that file. And here's our Expense Trends Budget file. Go ahead and click OK. And it puts the path in there. And let's click OK one more time. OK, let's make this a little bit larger. So now we have our Expense Trends graph and table that came in from Excel. Now we just learned how to embed an object from Excel. However, this is not dynamic. So let's take a look at our original file again. I'm going to go and open that up. And let's say we add data here for July. And we're going to save and close. And we're going to take a look at our PowerPoint window again. And all of that information for July that we just added is not showing up. So what we want to do is if you have files in Excel or in other locations that you're going to embed into PowerPoint and you want those to be dynamic and update whenever any of the information changes, you need to go about it a slightly different way and make sure it's linked to the original file. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and select my object and press Delete. And this time I'm going to click Insert Object again, Create from File. The first steps are going to be the same. We're going to browse and find the file. Click OK. This time though, we're going to check on this link button. And the description here will tell us that the picture will be a shortcut to the file so that changes to the file will be reflected in your presentation. Go ahead and click OK. And now you see that the information that we added for July is there. Let's make this a little bit larger so we can see it. And we're going to test this. We're going to go back to our source file here. And let's modify some of the July information. Let's say that this 85 is now 240. I made that blue bar a lot taller. And let's take a look at this item here and let's make this 450. I made that green bar really tall. I'm going to save it and get back to our PowerPoint window. Now it's not going to automatically update unless we've closed our file and reopen it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the object itself and we're going to choose 
update link. And now any changes that were made within the original file will be updated within your PowerPoint image. And that concludes our lesson on embedding and linking Excel tables and charts.